into the recap of the Bears' very tough 35-32 loss to the Miami Dolphins at Soldier Field on Sunday afternoon. I'm David Kaplan. Folks, you know I'm not a guy that ever whines about officiating because you get some and some go against you. Today was awful officiating. Awful. You had an intentional grounding on Tua Tungo Vailoa, was not called. You had a very ticky-tack pass interference call on Eddie Jackson. I thought it was close. And if I was refereeing, I might have thrown the flag. But if you're going to throw the flag on that one, you're clearly going to throw the flag on the one against Chase Claypool late in the game as the Bears are driving to tie or win the football game. That is a horrific missed call. If you're not going to call that, you cannot call the Eddie Jackson one. I would have called them both, but you can't have it both ways. Terrible officiating. Really thought there was a, a one earlier in the game. I think Cole Komet got interfered with. They didn't call. Either way, I thought the officiating left a lot to be desired. That all said, we've got our quarterback. We got a quarterback in Chicago, finally. And the last play of the Bears' day, Justin Fields rolled right through a dart to Equinemius St. Brown. Right here and right through his hands. Ball wasn't tipped. He wasn't screened. You're an NFL receiver. Catch the damn football, Equinemius. That was awful. EQ Brown has got to make that play. And who knows then where that drive goes. We would have had a chance to see more magic from Justin as my friend calls him, Copper Fields. That's right. He's a magician out there. I see this guy pinned in. Bam, there he goes. Justin set a record for a regular season NFL game today. He ran for 178 yards. He threw really effectively when he had opportunities. Look, they cannot drop him straight back simply because they can't protect him that way. But get him out on the edge, get him out on the move, and that dude can make plays. You had a punt block for a touchdown. Your defense doesn't have Quinn or Roquan Smith. You get no pressure on the quarterback. Tua wasn't sacked at all. So they put up 35 points. 28 of those offensively. Tua was excellent today. Tyreek Hill, 143 yards. Jalen Waddell, 85 yards. The Bears' defense was horrible today. But get used to it. There's not enough talent on the defensive side of the football. You take away from last year's team, Akeem Hicks, and I know he was out part of the year with injury, Khalil Mack, same deal, Robert Quinn, Roquan Smith. Those are quality football players that you haven't replaced. So it is what it is, and I understand what they're trying to do here. But to watch the offense play as well as it did and not be able to get any pressure on Tua, be able to slow him down, and they score enough to win the football game at Soldier Field, is disappointing from a win-loss perspective. But at the end of the day, you wake up on Monday and go, I'm good. I'm good. We've got an offense. Now we got to get that dude some more receivers. we got to be able to protect him a little bit better so when we have to, you can drop him back and know, hey, man, I got five dudes up there that are going to keep you clean 99% of the time. And then go get some front seven help. The defensive backfield, I think, is in a good place. Bears lose 35-32. But when you lay your head on the pillow tonight, we got a quarterback in Chicago. That's right. And all you doubters, I kept telling you, this is the right kid. Surround him with talent. Justin Fields, you're the man. Have a great rest of your night. Bulls recap later tonight. Take that.